we meet in God's name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Good morning and welcome to our Eucharist. I'm usually on a Thursday, but this is a very special feast day as we celebrate the commemoration of the first last supper. We give thanks for the institution of Holy Communion and the festival that's known by its Latin name, Corpus Christi, the body of Christ. In this particular service today, we have a Eucharist as usual, but at the end we will spend a little time in front of the Blessed Sacrament as we give thanks and pray to our Lord through the sacrament itself. As we bring ourselves to God the Father, thanking him for the gift of his Son. For it's quite difficult sometimes for us to conceive about what it was like when Jesus came to earth and to understand that this is a really important, really important holy time. And one way we can actually contemplate Christ being with us these days is to remember his promise that this will be my body and this will be my blood. And therefore he is with us in the blessed sacrament. And so at the end of the service as we not only pray with him to the Father but also are blessed by him. We are blessed by God and we are given this gift spiritually, of his very self. Let us, first of all, prepare our hearts and minds for worship by saying together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we today prepare to celebrate the mystery of God's love, revealed in word and sacrament, let us call to mind our sins. Like as the heart longs for flowing streams, so longs my soul for you, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O send out your light and your truth, that they may lead me. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. May we joyfully come to your altar, O God, the God of our salvation. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only
come to the collect for the day of thanksgiving for the institution of Holy Communion, Corpus Christi. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that in this wonderful sacrament you have given us the memorial of your passion. Grant us so to reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may know within ourselves and show forth in our lives the fruits of your redemption. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We attend to the reading. A reading from the book of Genesis. And King Melchizedek of Salem brought out bread and wine. He was priest of God Most High. He blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram by God Most High, maker of heaven and earth. And blessed be God Most High, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And Abraham gave him one-tenth of everything. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Jews then disputed amongst themselves, saying, 
how can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate and they died, but the one who eats this bread will live forever. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. I speak in God's name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Well, this is a wonderful festival day that we have today, and it's a really important day for us to be united together, particularly in this COVID time when, sadly, we're unable to receive Holy Communion regularly. But we need to be reminded that we have gathered here on many a day, receiving the bread and the wine, the body and the blood of Christ, and he is continually with us. We are baptized with Christ, and we are involved and fed by him. And in a sense, time has no dominion over that, for we know that we have Christ within us. In today's gospel, the new bread of life given by Jesus is contrasted with the bread, the manna, which his Jewish ancestors ate in the desert. In the person of Jesus, here is the word of God offering himself as the new bread of heaven. The word of God has become flesh, and the bread of heaven is the very life of Jesus himself. So to participate in this memorial in any way is to have a share in the life of God himself. It is to participate in eternal life. It is to be with the bread in heaven. At the Last Supper, Jesus gives himself away as food and drink to his followers. This is my body, which is given for you, he says. This is my blood, which will be shed for you. Do this in memory of me. During the last meal of his earthly life, Jesus charges his disciples, his companions, to keep his memory alive by gathering together to break bread. In remembrance of him, they must remember to eat and drink in his name. Now, most of us generally don't have to remember to eat. Indeed, I think for many of us, it's the reverse. Our bodies, though, they let us know when it's time to be nourished. But we do have to remember to eat in the name of Jesus, which is why the church asks us to come together in a virtual community at present to continue remembering Jesus in this way. Lest we forget in any sense what he has done, we gather to celebrate that live memory. Which is why, in the prayer of the consecration of the bread and wine, which you'll hear me saying in a few minutes' time, we pray in the Eucharistic prayers, Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself, calling to mind his death on the cross. We celebrate this memorial in remembrance of the precious death and passion of your dear Son. We remember all that Jesus did, as we recall the one perfect sacrifice of our redemption. 
who remembers his death and rising in glory. Notice those words, remember, memorial, recall. They all mean one very important thing, and that is praying and asking God to actually make sure that we never forget and for him to come among us to remember, for him to actually be here present with us in this most wonderful sacrament. Each of our Eucharistic prayers, the prayers of thanksgiving or consecration at the heart of this service, express the purpose of our gathering, our refusal to forget what Jesus has done. So we keep the memory fresh. We celebrate it anew every time. But it is one celebration of one event that happened at one time on the cross. But in celebrating, we receive new life for our own journeys of faith. Whether we live in the midst of peace or conflict, we remember as a community that what Jesus did for us has a continuing eternal purpose. Today our celebration of the Eucharist keeps us from being a thankless people. And also in celebrating the Eucharist today, we celebrate a dangerous or challenging memory, the memory of Jesus' suffering and death. It isn't a comfortable thing we remember, but we remember Jesus' radical values that put him in opposition to so many, even of his own people. We talk about God and the kingdom in God's insistence of forgiveness, in God's opposition to religious shams, in God's commitment to peace and reconciliation. Jesus, the Son of God's willingness ultimately to die on the cross, to overcome sin for us all. In celebrating the body and blood of Christ on Corpus Christi, we become his body, remembered in our world today. In celebrating Holy Communion, we share with Christ and with one another we become one with his actively remembered presence. We become one with his life. We walk in his footsteps. And so Jesus lives among us and nourishes us spiritually within. That is a joyful privilege. And if we take it seriously, an awesome responsibility. May Christ's true presence bless you this day. Amen. And so, in the power of the Spirit, and in union with our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray our prayers of intercession. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people gathered at your table. For in faith we pray, we pray to you, our God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Here, where we celebrate how Christ gave us his body to be our spiritual food and his blood to be our spiritual drink, listen as we pray for his body, the church, spread throughout the world. We pray for Justin, our Archbishop. We pray for Christopher, Bishop of Southwark, and Richard, Bishop of Kingston. We pray for the parishes of our deanery, and we pray especially for this parish. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Here, where we recognize the presence of Christ, who takes away the sins of the world, listen as we pray for that world and for its people for whom his blood was shed. 
We pray for the rulers of the world in every nation. We pray, Lord, that all of us may be stimulated and prompted through your example to work out a world which is better for us all. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Here, where we come together as Christ gathered with his friends to give us this meal of holy fellowship, listen as we pray for all whom you have given us, our friends, our family, and all those lives which are joined to ours. We give you thanks for their expressions of love and care. And we pray for those who are in need. For in faith we pray, we pray to you, our God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Here, where we remember the night of Christ's agony and trial, listen as we pray for all who share his suffering through fear or pain or distress of any kind. We remember especially today Dylan Long, Steve Watts, Simon Emin, Anita Coilo, Robert Willer, Maria Yanate, Peter Coley, Margaret Hudson, Kwame, Sandra Wood, Anne Gillis and Barbara Atkins. The moment of silence we pray for those who we carry in our own hearts this day. We pray to you in faith. We pray to you, our God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Here, where we join our praises to the whole company of heaven, listen as we pray for all who have trusted Christ promise to raise up on the last day those who eat his flesh and drink his blood. We pray for the recently departed, for George, George Floyd, Julie Connell, priest, Paula Hughes and David Hooper. We pray for all whose years mind falls about this time. Rest eternal, grant them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, satisfy our hunger with the food that lasts, the bread of God which comes down from heaven, and give life to the world. Through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. Merciful Father, Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We stand for the peace, if you are able. Our Lord Jesus Christ says, If when you are bringing your gift to the altar, you remember your brother or sister has a grievance against, Leave your gift where it lies before the altar and go make peace and only then come and offer your gift in peace. May the peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let's offer one another a sign of that peace and be mindful of those who perhaps are on their own today, unable to come to church and let us pray and remember them. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, that you become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, that will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. God our sustainer, receive the gifts we bring before you and feed us continually with that bread which satisfies all hunger, namely your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord is here. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, we give you thanks and praise for your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living Word, through whom you have created all things. He was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name for ever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of all and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. same way after supper he took the cup and again gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me Jesus Christ is Lord, Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Saviour of the world. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, 
so that we in the company of Mary, the Mother of God, Peter, Paul, and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. break this bread. We share in the body of Christ. Although we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, Give us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Let us pray. All praise to you, our God and Father, for you have fed us with the bread of heaven and quenched our thirst from the true vine. Hear our prayer that, being drafted into Christ, we may grow together in unity and feast with him in his kingdom, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we pray together. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when you were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. 
Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I am the bread of life. Anyone who comes to me shall not hunger. Anyone who believes in me shall never thirst. Alleluia. Lord, give us this bread always. The bread of God comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Alleluia. Lord, give us this bread always. Anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise them up on the last day. Alleluia. Lord, give us this bread always. It is the spirit that gives life. The flesh is of no avail. The words I speak, they are spirit and they are life. Alleluia. Lord, give us this bread always. We thank you, but in this wonderful sacrament, you have given us the memorial of your passion. Grant us so to reverence the sacred ministries of your body and blood, that we may know within ourselves and show forth in our lives the fruits of your redemption. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 